Mr. Chairman and brethren, though I wanted to go straight into the subject, the plea that Brother Swaggart had made forces me to make a confession of faith. And that is that we Muslims happen to be the, of the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith for its followers to believe in Jesus. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus. We believe that Jesus Christ was one of the mightiest messengers of God. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. Who is Sheikh Ahmad Didat? Sheikh Ahmad Didat is a unique and legendary Dai of Islam and a servant of Quran, having firmly understanding of Christians' Bible as well. Ahmad Didat was born in Surat district of India on 1st July in the year 1918. Sheikh Ahmad Didat is my father and I'm proud to have a father who did so much for Islam. Soon after his birth, his father Hussein Didat moved to South Africa to gain better financial resources. He obtained a job of a tailor over there. After working for nine years, Hussein Didat intended to call child Ahmad Didat to South Africa who was only a 12 years child at that stage of time. After getting his first passport, Ahmad Didat started his journey in a giant big ship without accompanying by any guardian. Told me that Yusuf, it was the first time in my life that I saw the ocean, the sea. It was the first time in my life that I boarded a ship. I never knew what a ship looked like. Before harboring that ship at South Africa, the government of South Africa had banned the entry of any child without mother. And he came to South Africa. His first step into South Africa created problems. And the problem was that the South African government at that time realized that these Indian workers were calling down the youngsters and not the mothers. So they passed a circular that this is the deadline from this day onwards no youngsters will be allowed in South Africa if they are not accompanied by their mother. Since Allah had decided to spread his deen and uncover the truth from the falsehood, so he put courage in the heart of Hussein Didat to firmly hold the hand of his son Ahmad Didat and get him out of the security checkpoints. Thus, Sheikh Ahmad Didat becomes the only child who entered South Africa. Ahmad Didat arrived one day late at the Durban Harbor. And miraculously, he was the only child on that ship who somehow the other came and landed his foot into South Africa. His father, Hussein Didat, was a aggressive man, a very forceful man. So he went onto the ship, held his son, Ahmed, and walked down, and the custom officer said, hold on, hold on. And he said, no, I'm not listening. And he passed the custom officers. That alone was a barakat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ahmed Didat joins primary school but after insufficient financial capability of his father, Sheikh Ahmad Didat could not continue his academic education only up to the middle level of schooling. He starts working as a salesman in a furniture shop where he faces Christian missionaries talking about Muhammad, peace be upon him, Islam and Quran so negatively which was daringly provoking Sheikh Ahmad Didat's anger. But he knew nothing to respond. So he worked in a country shop about 30 kilometers away from the city of Durban, known as Adam's Mission Station. Opposite the shop, there was a missionary school where they trained Africans 
to do missionary work. They used to come and ask him questions. Hey, Muslim, did you know about your Prophet Muhammad that he spread the religion by the sword? He told the people, if you don't accept Islam, we'll chop off your neck. Ahmad Didat knew nothing about that. They began to question him, to say, Yo, Muhammad, he married young girls. What type of prophet is this? Ahmad Didat knew nothing about this. He didn't know how to defend himself. Because he was a Muslim like most of us are. A Muslim by Shahada, a Muslim by Salah, when we watched our fathers pray, and a Muslim who are parrots that can recite the Quran without understanding it. But in this case, Shaykh Didat never knew anything about the Quran. All he was, he was a Muslim. When he saw an Arab, he said, Alhamdulillah, this is a Muslim. So what does he do? Daily this attack is being posed to him. What does he do? But he had a hunger for reading. Ikra, read, was the first commandment Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa That command unconsciously worked on Ahmad Didat. Then Allah places this teenager in an old bookstore where Ahmad Didat starts reading every book and newspaper from start till end whatever he founds in the bookstore. Even the advertisements is said by Sheikh Ahmad Didat. There he finds a book by the name of Izharul Haq which is about Muslim Christians debates and from there starts the inspiration of Sheikh Ahmad Didat to become a Dai of Islam. He wanted to read, he reads everything. And one day while rummaging through a pile of newspapers in his boss's warehouse, he found a book called Isharul Haq, The Truth Revealed. In that book made interesting reading because number one, he had a British passport, British conquering India, it was about the same thing, British conquering India. And the British realized that if anybody is going to give us trouble, it will most certainly be the Muslims. So how do we enslave the Muslims? And a great debater in the history of Islam and Christianity. Mr. Didat, I say we love you and God loves you and God bless you. And now, Brother Ahmed Didat. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فويل للذين يكتبون الكتاب بأيديهم ثم يقولون هذا من عند الله ليشتروا به ثمنا قليلا وويل لهم مما كتبت أيديهم وويل لهم مما يكسبون صدق الله صدق الله العظيم There are numerous achievements in the Dawa struggle of Sheikh Ahmed Didat where on top of the list are the historical debates of Sheikh Ahmad Didat with Christian top evangelists, even the TV evangelists of the high caliber, like Jimmy Swigart, Professor Douglas, Ahmad Shurosh, and several other Christian scholars. So he goes to the church on Sundays and he asks the priest, Dear sir, I want to know about Christianity. How come Jesus Christ is crucified? Where is it in the Bible? And when the priest shows him, Didat has a counter-argument from the Bible, not from the Quran. Because they don't believe in the Quran. They don't accept Muhammad Rasulullah as the last and final messenger of Allah. Not only this, Sheikh Ahmad Didat also challenged the Pope of the Roman Catholic Church for a debate on several topics related to Christianity and Islam. This book inspired him to go and purchase the Bible. Now you have to, my dear brothers, have a Bible in every Muslim home. That is the weapon. You have to know how the other party thinks about you. What ammunitions you have on their side 
that you can use to in convince them that Islam is the only true religion. So what does Chag did that do? Purchases the Bible, cuts out verses of the Bible, puts them in a special index format, index them, again unconsciously by the will of Allah, by the hand of Allah, he is indexing them because he wants to get it into his brain, indexing everything, formatting everything into the brain. Because all of us are born innocent. All of us are born just with La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasul. All of us are born with the azan in our ears. That is all. The environment makes us good Muslims. The environment makes us bad Muslims. Shaykh Dira's environment was an attack. What he had to do was learn to defend himself. Giving honor to the great struggles and achievements in comparative religion works, the government of Saudi Arabia honored him with King Faisal Award. Sheikh Ahmad Didat also tried his best to create a class where he transferred his knowledge to several students related from several countries of the globe. Among them is Dr. Zakir Naik as one of his students following the unique dawah work started by Sheikh Ahmad Didat. Traveling continent to continent for the sake of spreading the knowledge of Quran, Sheikh Ahmad Didat gets in severe stroke at the old age which caused to paralyze him. The government of Saudi Arabia gave him the best medical facilities. This stroke was the invitation of the Allah. Sheikh Ahmad Didat wrote several books while being paralyzed and laying on the bed. And also the government of Saudi Arabia has provided some technology where Sheikh Ahmad Didat at the last stages of his life where he could not move, where he could not talk, he could only glimpse his eyes. Sheikh Ahmad Didat wrote several books using the computer as technology by glimpsing his eyes on the words that was required for his books in that situation. And finally he passes away continuing his mission and his struggle till last breaths of his life, even laying on the bed as a paralyzed old man. May Allah rest his soul in peace. Sheikh Ahmad Didat is my hero. He's my motivation and my role model, as well as for the thousand of youths in propagating Islam and Quran in finding sirat mustaqim through understanding Quran and few are propagating Islam and Quran through unique teaching ways learning from Sheikh Ahmad Didat. May Allah give him Jannah and give us guidance to the right path. Thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum.